everybody. This year, Garlic and Arts, as we know, isn't happening in person, but they have been generous enough to invite us to cook, to film a few cooking demos because yes. it was one of our favorite parts of yes, last year was absolutely. doing a cooking demo. Um, so thank you so much to Garlic and Arts for this invitation. Uh, today, we are going to show you a multitude of ways to use garlic. And you can grab your own garlic for use starting September 12th at the Seeds of Solidarity Farm Stand. They're selling their cooking garlic and their seed garlic. So you can grab some from them and make these recipes yourself at home. So the first recipe we are going to be offering to you is garlic confit. And it's very, very simple. We're gonna make an herby garlic confit. You need equal amounts of oil and garlic. So two cups of oil, in you go. And two cups of garlic. So with this garlic, you just wanna peel it Yes. You don't need to don't crush need to it. Do you don't anything. need to do anything Just else peel with it. it. Oops. A sprig of rosemary, a sprig of thyme, a couple of bay leaves. You put it on very, very low. I'm going to use 200 on my stove top, but you can put it in your oven or you can put it on the lowest setting on your stove and you let it cook for about an hour. Um, so we're going to turn around and do this, Julie. Thank you. Magic. And by the magic of TV, here we go. We have a finished product here for you, um, which I prepared this morning. Uh, so we are going to show you what this looks like when it's done. It's very jammy. Jammy, is that a word? <laughs> it is a word. <laughs> okay, it's very jammy. And it, it's, not, it's not bitter. Uh, uh, cooking it this way, slow cooking it in oil, and you can use any form, any type of oil. Um, I happen to use safflower oil, but you can use olive oil, um, you can use canola oil, you can use peanut oil, whatever oil you want to use. Olive oil would give it a nice flavor for spreading on breads and mm -hmm. stuff like that. This will last for about four months in your refrigerator. You can use the oil to uh, marinate your feta and olives mm -hmm. for your bread boards. Um, you can you use can it use, in a salad dressing. You can use it in a salad dressing. You can use this paste to spread on bread um, or in soups and stews. But what a wonderful way to preserve the bounty of, um, of garlic <laughs> and it's great also if you've got a bunch of garlic that's in your pantry and you're seeing it start to go you can go ahead and preserve it this way and that way you're reducing your waste in your kitchen absolutely and you're giving yourself this really amazing results instead. absolutely which we completely love <laughs> and also let me add one more thing you don't have to add any of the herbs you can just use what you have garlic and oil just use that it's as simple as that the herb just gives it another level of flavor <laughs> really good yeah mm. all right i have to try this <laughs> kathy <laughs> kathy's behind the camera doing all the work Hi, kathy. Kathy. yeah you could use this in oh, place this of mayonnaise on a sandwich if you wanted to maybe cut down on a little mm. bit of the fat but it adds so much flavor so much flavor yes. i use it in um Very good. you can use it in like a spaghetti sauce to change the mm. texture of the spaghetti sauce a little bit and give it like a deeper roasted flavor you can add a little hot pepper flake because we put spice in everything. <laughs> yes, we do. You could. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Just for that, here you go. <laughs> Just a smidge. It's super customizable. And you can also use whatever herbs you have in your garden if you want to use fresh herbs. But because it's slow cooking, if you don't have any fresh herbs and you have dried herbs in your pantry, you can you also can use, use that. that. Also. It's really easy and customizable and uses some really great local garlic. Yes. Thank you.